Hey, what's up? Nathan here from PH Studios. Uh, what I want to do in this video is talk to you about the XNA Advanced Technique samples that have been up for over a year now. And I wanted to talk to you about updating them to 4.0. Uh, so some of these have been done with 3.0, some of them have been done with 3.1. Uh, they have not been updated to 4.0 yet. Probably this week and next week I'll update most of them. I'll uh, probably the menu system and screen system I will not update because we're doing an advanced screen system for the tower defense series and the input class I probably will not update uh, but everything else I'll probably update clickable game objects and stuff like that I probably will update to 4.0 and uh, that'll be in this week and next week uh, so the, for this video, I already did the basic saving one, so I'll just do a brief walkthrough on that since it's just not a one minute video. Uh, in the previous one, the 3.01, if you upgrade that, you'll get about eight errors when it won't know what to do. It doesn't know the begin show storage device selector and all that stuff. So what I did is I converted all those to 4.0, the appropriate calls. You can now look for it in the saved game. It'll actually call begin open container and end open container. And that's the main difference here. It'll create file using the storage container instead of the file.create what we do here. Uh, file stream. Uh, we do path.combine and file.open. So instead of doing that, we call container dot create file or container dot open file and this basically the saving and loading is basically the same we just uh, xml serializer we serializer dot serialize and then we close the stream and container dot dispose and uh, so yeah I just changed those names to the appropriate 4.0 uh, changes we now call result.async wait handle dot wait one and dot close and then we get the container in between and all that stuff combined is what we do to save and load the game. And container dot file exists. If it already exists we're gonna delete it so we can resave it and things like that. So the basic logic is uh, the same as the old sample. I just updated it to the 4.0 and I also updated the uh, code to have a file location so when you run it and you save it or load it it will tell you where it's saved or loaded to so let's see if my save game is still there I'll press L it will load it and it tells me it's located in my documents saved games and if I actually go there and go to my documents and I'll go to my uh, saved games and the name of the executable that's running basic saving for the name of the project basic saving is what we named it here so if you want to name it something else name it like a player ID Joe or John different user IDs can have different saved folders things like that so basic saving that's the folder and then the player one because that's the um, uh, index it's first player because we're getting it on player index one right here and that's why it says player one here and then saved game dot zzz a file name can be whatever you want like I said in the last tutorial so I just put zzz there as a uh, sort of demonstration purposes so since that is there, I can open up Notepad and drag that in there, and this is our saved game. All right, now last the you can watch the previous tutorial. It's made for 3.0. I'm not going to redo the entire 40-minute tutorial just on an upgrade. So if you want to know the logic behind it, it's basically the same thing except for the new updated calls here. Alright, so that's it for this video. Next video is the A-Star tutorial, which will probably be 
a very long tutorial. It's a very complex thing. So, hope to see you next time.